Hey y'all, it's Hoagie. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while. I didn't film over the weekend, and I didn't film on Monday, because i just been feeling like shit. I just physically, I, I don't have many spoons. I don't have much energy. It's all being taken up by like back pain and neck pain. I've been sleeping on my neck wrong. I'm just not very comfortable right now, but I'm feeling good enough to film on this Tuesday afternoon. So there are a couple things I wanted to talk to you guys about. I hope that this will make some people feel better and less alone because these struggles that I've been having, I have felt very alone. I have felt very gross about it. I have just felt like a failure and that I don't care about myself at all, which is not true. I hope someone can relate to this because I would really like to be able to relate to someone about this. The whole world is just messed up and I feel like I can't be the only one who's been like this, but I don't know. So please let me know if you've been struggling with anything similar. I would love to feel less alone about this. My issue is that I have not been taking care of myself. I have not been doing the things that I need to or want to be doing since the panini started and also a little bit before that, but mostly around the time when I moved in, when everything happened in my life where I lost my parents and I lost my apartment and like all that stuff happened and it kind of like hit me and I haven't been doing what I need to be doing. So I'm just, I'm not taking care of myself. I'm not doing the things that a healthy, non-depressed person would do. And I talked to my therapist about it and he brought something up that I thought was really insightful. That there are things that we do that we do for outward reasons. We do because we've gotten in the habit of it, but we've gotten in the habit of it for outward reasons, like we have school or a job or we're meeting with friends or we're trying to attract a partner or have a partner or partners. And those reasons are the reasons we get up in the morning. They're the reasons we take a shower. We brush our teeth. We, we, we eat breakfast and I don't really have those reasons right now because I don't go anywhere and I'm not working and I don't, have a partner and I just, I don't have those outward reasons. And so my therapist was like, you need to find another reason for doing those things that aren't necessarily outward. Do you want to feel better about yourself? Do you want to be not so embarrassed about the state of your body? Do you want to eventually attract a partner? Do you want to eventually have a job? You need to get in this habit so that you can do those things. And I have decided that yes, I want those things. I want to not hate myself as much when I look in the mirror. I want to do everything I can in the situation that I'm in right now to be the best version of myself. So I'm going to start doing some things. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about what I've been doing and what I haven't been doing and what I want to start doing that will change, you know, my life, that will make me feel like a more productive person. Not that productivity, like, determines worth or anything, but I want to feel more productive. I want to feel <sighs> like more of a human being. And I don't really right now. So I want to go with you guys, go through with you guys, um, what I'm planning on doing. So let's start with that. To start out with, I will have you know that I am very used to taking naps and I'm very used to taking long naps because I, I've never really been able to take a 20 minute nap. I'm not asleep yet. I'm not even like barely unconscious, like nothing. I'm just staring or like with my eyes closed, waiting to fall asleep. And then my alarm goes off. And I'm like, I wasn't even doing anything. It does not feel restful to me. 
So I will take full sleep cycle naps. I will take hour and a half naps and it works for me, but it takes up a whole bunch of time. And since getting out of school, since graduating, I have been taking long naps and not just in the middle of the day. Well, not in the middle of the day. I've been taking them after I eat breakfast and take my pills. I will get up. I will eat breakfast. I will take my pills, everything. And then I will go back to sleep for an hour and a half. And it's because I feel like I need more sleep than I'm getting, but I don't because that would mean that I'd be sleeping for like 10 to 12 hours and I don't need that much sleep, but I feel like I need that much sleep. It's, I'd like to change this habit because I don't even feel tired every day. Sometimes I feel perfectly fine. Like I could be up, but I'm so used to being in the habit of taking a nap that I just do it. And sometimes I don't sleep. Sometimes I just want to enjoy the feeling of being under a weighted blanket and hugging my pillow and feeling comforted and like someone is holding me and cause I don't get basically any touch during the day. I'm very touch starved. I think I've spoken about this on the channel before. I am extremely touch starved. And so lying under a weighted blanket, hugging my pillow, closing my eyes and imagining a nice comforting scenario is very therapeutic to me. So I've been doing that and it just takes up a whole bunch of my day. I get up at seven and then I don't really do anything until nine 30 or like 10, depending on when I go to sleep. And I just, it's not necessary. I don't think it's necessary, but I feel like my body is like, you, you want to do this, but I don't know how much of it is I've trained myself and how much of it is I actually need it. So we'll see how that goes with me not taking a nap, which I'll get into, but I have been taking long naps and I would like to not do that. The next couple of items are a little gross because I mean, this is the, this is the crux of what my issue is. And it's that I don't really take into account what is healthy for me in many, many ways in my life but I do or don't do uh, a couple gross things. And <clears throat> I have not been taking showers as often as I should. I have mentioned this on the channel. I used to take a shower once a week. I was doing that since middle school. My parents never really instilled that I should take a shower every day. I don't know why, but looking back on it, they really should have because I never got in that habit. So I was taking showers once a week and then I got on testosterone and I realized I was going to be sweating more. So I started taking showers like every other day and I did that for a couple months and then it turned into like every three days and then like it's become twice a week and it's not cold. I mean, it's not hot. It's cooler now, but I still feel gross. My hair gets gross. I have to wash my hair like three times. Every time I go to the shower, in the shower, like I have to watch it, wash it three times before it feels clean and it's gross and I feel gross and I want to take a shower every day. I know some people say that you shouldn't take a shower every day, but I'd like to get in the habit of taking a shower every day. And then if there's like a couple days that I don't, then that's okay. I want to get in that habit, but I don't take a shower every day. Um, I also don't brush my teeth every day. Do you know how often I brush my teeth? Before I film and when I go somewhere, the people are going to see my teeth, which was more often before the panini, but is not much right now. So that is disgusting. This is known. I am very ashamed of this. I had braces. I used to see the dentist all the time and then I got off my dad's insurance and I had no way of paying for the dentist because Medicaid does not cover dental care and I haven't had a job for longer than a month. So I have no way of attaining 
dental care. I haven't seen the dentist since I was like 20 years old. I'm 30. It's bad. Um, I just chipped a tooth like the other day. My canine down here. A little chip. It's cutting my lip when I uh, do stuff with my teeth. So uh, I need to see someone about that. I can't. I won't. I don't have the money. I don't have the money in the foreseeable future. It's just going to have to be like that. And I'm going to have to train myself out of doing things on this side of my mouth. You know, I, I, I don't have options. So if I fuck up my teeth, I have no way of fixing it. And so I need to take care of my teeth and I don't. I just got out of the habit of it after the, after I got out of school. And I feel like nowadays I don't go anywhere where people see my teeth, where I smile or anything. So what's the point? What's the point of an outward reason for me to do anything? I don't really have an outward reason for anything. It all has to be internal. Then there's my face. My face is breaking out. It's been breaking out since I started tea. You should have seen my skin before I started tea. It was very nice. Had the occasional pimple, but it was like, I didn't need to put on makeup. It was very nice. Now there are acne scars everywhere. Like it's just, there's redness. I am, I'm a teenage boy. And I had a skincare routine. I did at the beginning of starting testosterone, like a couple, like a month before starting testosterone, I'm like, I need to take care of my skin. So I had a skincare routine and I would wash my face and put on moisturizer every single night. And then I kind of fell off the wagon for that. Like brushing my teeth. I had a stint where I would brush my teeth and then wash my face. And then I stopped doing that because it was in the, like right before I went to sleep and I was tired and I didn't want to do it. I just wanted to sleep. Uh, I, this is partly my fault. Part of this is the testosterone and part of this is me not taking care of myself. So I need to do something about that. The next couple things are not really like physical, but I have been neglecting the promises that I made about my depth year. And as you guys know, I'm doing a depth year or a depth quarter. I really am committed to the year by this point. I definitely want to achieve this for a whole year, but I'm not enjoying my books and I'm not enjoying my tarot decks and my Oracle decks. And I'm not taking advantage of the things that I have. I am just existing right now. I'm not consuming the things in my house that I can do and have fun with. And it's been a month. I would like to continue to do things. I would like to continue to enjoy things, but I'm not doing that right now. Um, and I feel bad about it. I just started reading a book a couple days ago. I got, I have the physical book and the ebook and I've started reading the ebook on my iPad. Um, and highlighting it and everything. And I'm going to take notes like physically once I'm done highlighting it and I'm having a great time and I'm really enjoying it, but I wasn't. And I, I want to change that. I want to enjoy what I have. I'm also not really doing a lot of job searching. I have browsed indeed a couple of times. I've saved some jobs. I've looked at freelance work. It's, it's slow going. It's slow going. I am kind of afraid of it. I think my issue is that if I get a job, it's going to be work from home. It has to be work from home. I'm not going into an office, but I'm going to be at my desk. I'm going to have my laptop at my desk. Um, it's going to have, cause right now my laptop is downstairs and I'm going to have to like have everything shut and I'm going to have to turn my phone off and all these things. And it's a big lifestyle change. And I haven't had a job for such a long time and it's been nice, but I, I don't have any money. I can't pay my rent. So I 
just, I, it's so, it's going to be so different. It's going to change my, it's going to change my life. And I'm afraid of it. I'm afraid of not having a job and I'm afraid of having a job. That is the rub. That is the issue. Um, I need to not be afraid of success because it's success and I'm going to get money. And if I don't like it, I can quit, but I first have to get it. Now that we're done with that, what am I going to start doing? There's lots of things that I'm going to start doing. For first off, I'm not going to be taking any naps, not in the morning. If I do take a nap, I will attempt to take a 20 minute nap sometime in the middle of the day, a little siesta. And I'm hoping it helps because I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what my body needs. My body is so fickle. It tells me one thing and then the next day it tells me another and I feel different things and it's just the chronic illness, the chronic illness. And I'm hoping I can sustain this. I have not taken a nap since Friday. Um, well, since Saturday, I decided to do it on Friday. Um, but since Saturday, I have not taken a nap in the morning and I live, I'm alive. I'm conscious. I think it might've contributed a little bit to my pain the last couple of days as my body adjusted, but I'm feeling better today. So maybe it'll be feasible. Maybe it'll be sustainable. And, uh, right now I'm not feeling like, Oh my God, I need to sleep. Oh, if I don't sleep, I'm going to die. I don't feel like that. I don't. Uh, so I'm hoping this is sustainable. I am going to practice more self care and by self care, I mean shower and brushing teeth and skin care. And I'm going to do that every day. I'm going to shower every day. Um, I, there were a couple times since Saturday, I've only showered twice since Saturday. Um, I'm getting in the habit of it. I took a shower today, a couple hours ago. That felt great. It's so nice on like messed up muscles. And I'm in the routine of brushing my teeth and washing my face at night. I know I should brush my teeth twice a day, but I'm right now committing to doing it once a day so that I can get in that habit um, of at least doing it once a day. And then I can start doing things in the morning. Um, when I'm washing my face at night, so my face is nice and clean for my pillow, uh, and it doesn't like rub in and start trying to fuck with me. Um, I do wear a CPAP mask. It's a full face mask. Well, like, like this, and it's got like rubber, like this silicone stuff. And I feel like sometimes it causes pimples where it touches, especially on my chin and like right here. And, um, I'm, I need to clean it more often. I need to like wipe it down more often. So, um, maybe that'll help, but I'm hoping that the actual washing my face every day with an acne cleanser with salicylic acid will help get like just the, the acne scars, the, the discoloration. I hate that. I hate it so much. So I'm going to brush my teeth every day. I'm going to do my skincare every day and I'm going to take a shower every day at least for the foreseeable future until I get in the habit. And then if I feel like my skin doesn't like it or it gets into the summer and things change and I need to take a shower less often, I will do that. Cause I don't want to look at myself in the mirror and be afraid to smile. I don't want to feel stinky and gross. I don't want to look at my skin and be like, don't look at me. I'm going to wear my mask. And I don't want people to look at me because I hate my face so much. I don't, want to feel like that. And if anything is going to help my self love, at least wanting to look at myself in the mirror from the neck up is progress. I am going to do more depth year stuff. I am going to read my books, which I've already started. I have some books downstairs that I want to read on the couch, which is where I spend some of my time. And, uh, I want to read those. I want to do daily card draws. Um, I want to draw a card in the morning. I need to pick a deck. Uh, I don't know which one I'm going to work with, but it'll probably be one that I haven't worked with before. Cause I have decks that I worked with for like a week and then I put them away. And the point of a depth year is to enjoy the things that you already have. So I want to work with decks that I have neglected since I bought them and get to know them and journal about them and do daily draws. It'll, it'll be fun. I want to do fun things with things that I already have. And I think I'm really going to enjoy them. 
I also want to work more towards getting a job. I want to spend 15 minutes on Indeed every day. I want to apply for jobs regularly. I want to not be afraid of getting a call back. I need to make sure my resume is up to date. I think it is because I changed my name. And so uh, I think I've changed my resume, the name on my resume, but I need to make absolutely sure that I've done that. Um, I want to get over this fear. I just need to jump in there because I was told by an old career coach that you have to get a certain amount of no's before you get a yes. So the more you apply, the more no's you'll get and the closer you'll get to getting that yes, the closer you'll get. And as it's, it's like with telemarketing, you have to get like a hundred no's before you get one. Yes. Um, so that's the principle I'm trying to go on. That's the vibe that I'm trying to exude. It's like, I don't care if I get a no, it's just one step closer to getting a yes. And if I get a yes, I can have a panic attack then. I am a little apprehensive about all these things that I'm doing. I'm a little scared. I'm a little impatient because I don't know if I should have started with making each of these a habit on their own. If I should have started with like taking a shower every day or started with brushing my teeth every day. And then as I went from one habit one month, because it takes 30 days to build a habit. So start with one and then the next month do another and the next month do another. But I'm impatient. I want to do all this stuff now. I want to have a new routine now. And I don't know if it's easier to just make the whole routine one habit or start with each little thing and make each thing a habit. I'm trying with the whole amalgamation. I'm going to see if that works. If not, I will pick one, probably the brushing my teeth every day because that's the one I feel the most gross about and do that every single day until I've built that habit and then start on the next one. I am so grateful to my therapist. Shout out to my therapist. He has motivated me to do this. We had a simple conversation about something else and I brought up that I had not brushed my teeth in a while and he asked me why. And then he just went into it and slowly picked out the part of me that was you know, apprehensive about it. That was, that was neglecting it. And like he, he pulled on the strings and I'm motivated to do better things for myself. I've just felt so powerless. I, this whole, the world, the way that it is, I feel so powerless. I can't change anything. Nothing I do matters. And I hate it. And I just, needed that boost of something to let me know that I can have power over something. I have power over what I do with myself. I have power over how I take care of myself. And he's right. I do. I do have that power. And if that helps me feel more in control, then that is a bonus. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy my content, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting. I do my best to put out a new video every week. I have a Twitter, at HoagieJ, uh, where I'm being more active, and I am keeping you guys posted on when I don't post videos and why I'm not posting videos. Like this weekend, I was in pain for two days, and I let you guys know that I wasn't going to be posting a video. So if you're wondering, like, where did he go, I will let you know. I also have a coffee co-fi.com slash hoagie j and i am raising money for equipment um i don't have any space to store my videos on my phone because i film on my phone and so i put them on google photos and the quality is just nuked so i would like to have the full-size photos the, the, the full-size videos um saved somewhere just for posterity. And I don't have any place for that right now. I have to delete them. So I would like an SD card to store that stuff. So I'm trying to raise $125. Um, I've already gotten a couple donations and I am so grateful to both of you. Thank you so much. Um, please consider donating if you're interested. No pressure. Uh, if you don't have a disposable income, I don't want you to even like worry about it. 
Um, but if you do want to throw something my way, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I hope this was in any way enjoyable. I know this is more of a story and less of an advice, but I wanted to let you guys know that I am trying to improve myself and I think we should all try to improve ourselves even when we don't feel like there's any reason to, even when we're stuck at home, even when this panini is making us feel absolutely powerless. There's always something we can do to feel more powerful, even if that's just taking care of ourselves. So I hope that you guys have a great week, that you had a great weekend. I will see you guys next time. Mwah.